Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mylene. Okay, today we're going to look at lots of short wavy styles. Now, some of them might be a little bit longer, but the majority, none are going to be longer than collar length. So we're going to do shorter ones and a little bit longer ones. All of these wigs were either provided to me for previous review by Wig Studio One, or I purchased them with my own funds from Wig Studio One. So all of them or from Wig Studio One. So let's look at some fun wavy styles that work well for fall and cooler weather, sweaters, things so it doesn't rub on your collar. Let's have a look at some wavy styles. Okay, first up, Ellen Villa Movie Star. One of my favorites. You know that. I'm showing it to you. This is Saffron Red Rooted. Now, some of these I have in several colors, and I'm going to show them to you in the different colors as well, because I think it's inter interesting to see how they can look really different, same style, but in different colors. So the ones that I have multiple colors, I'm going to show you a couple of different ones. Now, Movie Star. I have it in two different colors. This one, of course, like I said, saffron red rooted. I love this red. It's so sassy. It's so fun. It's such a cute style. It has a nice length, I think. It, it comes down below the chin a little bit here, as you see. So the bang on this one is seven inches. The crown's eight on Movie Star. Look at these barrel curls, so fun. The sides are six and a half, and it has a three inch nape. Now, this is not a full review. I've already reviewed all these wigs. I will link them like I always do in the drop down box below this video. So go down to the drop down box and you will see a link to all the videos I've already done on these wigs. I just want to show you some fun wavy styles. So let's look at Saffron Red Rooted. I want you to get a close up look. It has all this copper red and then it has these dark auburn roots. But the rooting is not overdone, as you can see. Just beautifully blended into all of these copper red shades, which I think is so flattering. Beautiful in the wintertime with like a yellow sweater, big chunky sweater. Ugh, it'll work perfect. Okay, so here's Movie Star in Champagne Rooted. Now, I wanted to show you, like I said, some different colors. Of course, the colors are different, but also, I want you to notice that the curl pattern can be different. The one I just showed you in Saffron Red Rooted, the curl pattern was a little tighter. As you can see, the bang on this one is a little more relaxed. So, even though they're the same style, many, many times the curl pattern will be different. Of course, it depends on the lot, when they were made, all of those things, you know, the time they were made. Some are older, some are newer. So it does depend. And yes, the curl pattern will not be exactly the same on every one you get. So champagne rooted, light beige blonde. I like the medium honey blonde. There's some platinum in here. And then it's all on this darker root. I have this color in so, so many styles. It's a beautiful, beautiful shade. Okay, so we looked at Movie Star. Let's move on now to another favorite. I love these Ellen Villa short wigs. I think that they work well. They look cute. Everybody seems they're super popular, of course. So let's look at Girl Mono. Now, you know, I love Girl Mono and Stone Gray Rooted. Wow. Love Stone Gray Rooted. Now, out of the box, fun, again, wavy style. All of these different colors of gray. There's some white in here. It's on a darker root. But how easy is that? You saw me take it out of the box and put it on my head. I, I think that Girl Mono, again, now it's a little longer here. Now, the bang on Girl Mono is six and a half inches. Now, the crown is seven and a half. The sides are nine, and it has a five inch nape. I think what I like about these is just the movement because that makes it look so natural, right? It just moves like natural hair. It's not stiff. These fibers are beautifully soft. And again, just another look. It's stone gray rooted. It has a little brown and then all of these blonde shades, pearl white, gray, and on these shaded roots. It's so well blended with all of these different colors, which makes it so dimensional. It's not flat. It is just a beautiful, beautiful color. All right, so that's Girl Mono and Stone Gray Rooted. 
I have it in some more colors. I want to show them to you. I hope you enjoy these little videos. Leave me lots of comments if you do. And also, y'all, if you're not following me on Instagram, <laughs> I have a different wig, short wig review every day on Instagram. So go over there at Crazy Wig Lady and check it out. It is so much fun. I'm having so much fun there. Okay. This is Girl Mono and Light Bernstein Rooted. Again, the curl pattern to me is a little tighter on this one, as you can see. The other one was a little more relaxed. To me, this has a little bit, the curls are a little bit tighter. Again, you're watching me take it out of the box and put it on my head, so I'm not doing anything to it. it has a lace front. Again, all my reviews will be in the drop down box below this video. So, light auburn here. Light Honey Blonde has a little reddish brown all on this blended dark root again. Again, look how beautiful the rooting is on this. Every time I see a Girl Mono on sale, now be sure to check the clearance section at Wig Studio One. When I see it on sale, I grab it because I know I'm going to like it in any color I can get my hands on. That's for sure. But I think this, again, wearable a little longer here with the six and a half inch bang, crown of seven and a half, sides are nine, of nine, and then the five inch nape on this one. Okay, that was light Bernstein rooted. That's a pretty color. It really is. And let's see what I have next. Next up, Girl Mono in Hot Hazelnut Mix. Wow. I love the reds. I just, <laughs> I think back when I first started wearing wigs and I first started doing wig reviews, if you followed me that long, you know, they were all short blonde pixies. Wow, how times have changed. I really have wanted to step out of my comfort zone, bring you as many colors and styles and links and everything that I can. I want to show you everything. Like I always tell you, this this whole channel is about you. I'm not ever saying these look good on me. I don't care what they look like. I want to show you what you might want to see. What you might think look good, what look, would look good on you. What you've been wanting to see. So I'm very passionate about that. And just by stepping out of my comfort zone into these different colors, I really believe I've kept my promise to you to show you as much variety as I can. Isn't this color just gorgeous? I love it. I really, really do. And y'all, I know people tell me all the time, oh, you say you love them all. I do. I bought these. <laughs> I'm going to buy what I know I'm going to wear, and I'm going to show you as many of them as I can. So yes, I do. I love them all. Can't we love all of our hair? All of these different styles? I don't have to love just one, although I will pick my favorite for the year. And so stay tuned, and in December, I will tell you what I've chosen. Now, the last two years running, my favorite wig, of course, was Raquel Welch Upstage. This year, it has some contenders. So we'll see. Not sure yet. Okay, hot hazelnut mix. It has this base of a medium reddish brown topped with copper red highlights. So much copper in this. The highlighting is gorgeous. If you haven't tried this color, have a look at it. I think it's wearable. It's not shocking, but yet it is, it's striking. It is just a beautiful color. All right, moving on from there, let's have a look at Raquel Welch Flirt Alert. Okay, let's take a look at Flirt Alert in SS Biscuit. I guess I have to say this is my favorite blonde, Raquel Welch, because I love the reds, I love SS Cappuccino. I love, oh my gosh, I love them all. You know I do. So um, this one, I have to say though, SS Biscuit, it's just got to be my favorite blonde. Now, Flirt Alert, a little longer. It has an eight and a half inch bang. Now you notice this bang is straighter. The others were a lot more wavy. This one is pretty straight. The crown is 10 on this one. The sides are 7. The back is 7. The nape is 4. Lots of loose, choppy waves. The ends are choppy. I like it. 
curly waves, tapered ends. Now this is a classic in my opinion. Just a classic bob, but with this twist of the waves on the ends, oh gosh, it's just so, it is just so pretty. I think that uh, the way they have left the front of this a little straighter, it's super feminine with this eyelash bang like this this color. Now you know Shaded Biscuit is a very ashy color blended with cool platinum. I like the platinum in, in this color. And then it has the darker roots of course. Just really well done. Really well, really well done. Flirt alert. Okay. Let's move on to a Gabor style. Okay, let's look at Debutante in the color SS Sandy Blonde. Okay, this fits me large. I just want to let you know that. I have a 21 and a quarter head circumference, and this is pretty large on me. This has a beautiful lace front. Soft, this is another very feminine style, I think. Soft layers, nice length, really nice. And y'all, you know, I'm just taking these out of the box. You can see that. So I'm not fixing them. I don't have a mirror in the back. I don't know what they look like, but I'm just going to show them to you how they are coming out of the box. This is a four and a half inch bang here. The crown on this one is six and a half. The sides are four and a half. The back is five and a half. And again, it has a five and a half inch nape. Just so feminine. I love this. Okay, this shade, look how pretty this shade is. Now, it's rooted, but it is so well done. I will say, Gabor knows how to shade these wigs. They're not overdone. It just gives you an illusion of a root. Just shade it with the golden blonde and super, super pale blonde highlights. You can see these around the face how it's right there. It's very pale there. It really brightens your face up. This is a very bright color to me, this blonde, a very bright blonde. Okay, let's look at Beltrass Miss Macchiato. We always have to talk about this wig if we're going to talk about short wavy styles. Again, this fits me a little large, but well, do I love Miss Macchiato. And I'll tell you why. I think it works for so many face shapes due to the length of this on the front. Get it on good. You see me taking these right out of the box. I'm just going to style them with my fingers, just like this. Run my fingers through it. These fibers are beautiful. Short, flirty bob, curly ends. I like the length. It has these little flipped out ends, which you know I love wigs that have little flipped out ends. It's just my style. Lots of, again, lots and lots of movement here. So feminine. It has a 7-inch bang. Now, the sides are 9 to 10 inches, so you see they're layered. Again, making it have all this beautiful movement. The back is 9.5 to 10.5, and, and it has a 3 to 4-inch nape. Again, fits me a little large, 21 and a quarter inch head circumference. Butterbeer Blonde. Now, Super popular for Beltress, right? Again, so wearable. This is a beautifully wearable blonde. So it is a blended shade of sandy blonde. It has ash blonde. It has light blonde. And then it is all on this medium brown root. I love the rooting on uh, Butterbeer Blonde. Again, not stark, not overdone. Just a beautifully blended root. I want you to try to see that. Yeah, Miss Macchiato, I love it. Okay, let's move on to a Raquel Welch. Okay, another SS Biscuit. This is Crowd Pleaser. Another one, how can we talk about these without talking about Crowd Pleaser? Lace front and mono part. Again, you'll see the video down below. Just go to the drop down box. And you can have a look at my full review. They always have outdoor lighting, you know, details, everything you need to know. I just like to go over these little short, fun videos, just give you an overview of these, but I always have a video link that is a full, a full review. I think. Now, crowd pleaser, a little longer here, six and a half inch front crown of 10. The sides are seven, the back is six and a half, has a nape of 4.25. 
Isn't this a beautiful wig? Heat friendly fibers, of course. Mid length, wavy style, side swept bang, layered throughout. Again, SS Biscuit, wearable, wearable color, light ash blonde with the cool platinum blonde. The platinum, I think, is what is so pretty in this. It really makes it pop around the face. It brightens your face up all on a darker root. Okay, one more. I have one more to show you. All right, I'm going to wrap up this little video with Modern Motif by Gabor, and the color is SS Honey Toast. thought I'd do a little darker shade for you. Now, look at this beautiful color. It has this base of chestnut brown, and then it, it's very blended down into medium brown and then dark golden blonde as well. Yeah, shaded again. They know how to do the shading on these wigs so well. Lots of curls here. Look at this. Now, the front on this one is five inches. This color is just beautiful. Look at SS Honey Toast. It is really pretty. Now, this is a classic bob with this beautiful waves, eyelash bang. I like the softness of this. Again, the fullness, the movement. It has a lot of movement through here. The front, again, is five inches, this, this bang. Beautiful, you can pull this bang down. You can wear it with more of a bang. The crown is eight. The sides are eight. The back is eight. And then it has a four and a half inch nape. Again, perfect for fall, for sweaters, for turtlenecks. These work well with those kind of things. They don't rub. Again, be sure to spray the ends of your wigs with a little detangler when you take them off in the evening. Brush through them with a wide tooth comb. Put them away and they're ready to wear next time. Okay guys, that's what I have for you today. Thank you for joining me today. Please leave me lots of comments and please consider uh, subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. I usually post at least twice a week and again follow me over on Instagram if you want to see short fun uh, reels and <laughs> just all kinds of fun stuff happening on Instagram. Thanks so much. See you next time.